Hello, I'm Valentine. In this video, I want to talk about types of relationships. There are a number of different ways to do this. Actually, kind of an infinite number of ways to do this. Because ultimately, every person is unique. Every person has unique needs to some degree or another. And every single relationship is a negotiation between the two parties on how they want that relationship to be, what they want out of that relationship, what their needs out of that relationship are, and what they can put into that relationship. That ultimately makes an infinite number of kinds of relationship. Three of the most common categories are one, monogamy, two, polyamory, or three, relationship anarchy. Monogamy is pretty much the most well-known out of all of those, and it's been the classic for the last 2,500 years, probably, or um, there's also been polygamy, which is monogamy with um, usually one male and a variety of females. Um, that's more of an older typology that we don't practice today very often. Monogamy is the classic binary system. Two parties that stay sexually faithful to each other and emotionally faithful to each other too. Not to say that they can't have other friends, but their romantic relationship is exclusively tied to their partner the one partner. Polyamory, meaning many loves, is more of a free association in the sense that each person is invested in their relationship, they're committed to that relationship, but they can have more than one romantic relationship or sexual relationship as the negotiation may dictate, or the needs may and wants may dictate. Uh, this can be done very successfully, but it has to be done ethically. When somebody is in a monogamous relationship and they start having a re sexual relationship with somebody else, you get into sexual misconduct and all kinds of bad things happen out of that and it's, um, it's a recipe for disaster, no doubt. And we see far too much of that because even though I believe human beings are not necessarily fundamentally monogamous, um, we are all put into that category as a matter of course through our society. That is what most of the churches promulgate. That is what our laws codify. So, you know, we're talking about cheating here, commonly known as cheating. When you're married and you're not happy with your partner, or you're not sexually satisfied with your partner, or you just happen to find somebody else that really turns you on, and you start having sex with them without your partner's knowledge. Um, this kind of sexual misconduct is, well, it's really bad karma, but it's also going to really ruin your life in this life because secrets always come out. And even if they don't come out, there's going to be the secret in your heart. There's going to be something that you're holding back from your partner. And when you start to hold things back from your partner, your own, your relationship with them starts to shrivel and die. Relationships have to be fully open and honest at all times. Otherwise, you can't deal with the problems that arise and your boat starts to sink. Um, water, you can take on water, essentially, and um, your relationship will be doomed if you can't come out of that and resolve everything and talk it through and find a solution that works for both of you. Part three, relationship anarchy. Relationship anarchy is 
really doing that negotiation for each and every relationship you have, but keeping an open dialogue such that if your needs change, if your desires change, then you're open to discuss it. Then you're open to see if, you know, you need to change the relationship, you want to open up the relationship to seeing somebody that you found that you've fallen in love with because the heart wants what it wants and the brain doesn't control the heart. It really doesn't. Things only work out well when the heart controls the brain and not the other way around. Um, and this is what I pretty much ascribe to. I'm a relationship anarchist, meaning I'm just taking it as it goes. I'm living each moment as it is. I'm making those negotiations with my partners as they go and putting everything on the table at all times. It's very important to make sure you maintain that open dialogue and if you do realize that you need to start dating other people, that you need a kind of sex that that partner isn't willing to give you, that, you know, especially if you're bisexual or pansexual, you know, having one partner may not work for you in the long run. Um, and these are all things to consider. But the main thing you have to do is always keep that dialogue open with your partner and make sure they know where you're really at. May all your relationships be completely without discord. Unlikely, I know, but keep trying. May all your relationships be loving and kind. If you do ever have to break up, may it not be traumatic. If you do ever have to break up, I hope you find the strength in yourself to stand on your own two feet and love yourself and be content. Be blessed. Be well. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Valentine.